Whoa! It's Bo! Oh, whoops, hold on. Okay. I remember I was in Flan's area. And it looked... It looked kinda... Painful. Everybody ready? No? Okay. Yeah! Flan! Lava Eternal Red Gorgeous. How much does this cost? Zero. Okay. Alright, I'm ready, are you? Alright, I'm ready, are you? Shit. Emerald Imaginary Flyer Mesmerizing Needle Mountain. Okay. Level 6 West. Alright. <coughs> Wait a sec. So, if... Uh... Where was I going? I was going... I was going up. Okay, before I... Actually, before I do that, how did I get in here again? What level connected to level 6? Was it... It wasn't level 3. It was level 2, right? It's... It's the spot on the, uh... The spot on the far... Far left, yeah? Maybe I, You know what? Fuck that. I'm just gonna wait till I can fly. That'll come eventually. Alright. Uh... Okay, I got it. Let's go. Everything is working out. Man, okay, so I gotta... Chat, I said I'm starting my stream at 2. Oh, a double jump. Oh, I started my stream at 2 on Wednesday. And... I woke up at like 3.30 today. So... You know, I'm sure you understand why there is a significant problem with that. So, something needs to be fixed in two days. What does it need to be fixed? I don't know. I'll figure that out later. But, yeah, I need a... Uh, I need to either... Uh, I'd like, you know, I can set an alarm, but I think it would be better if I was just able to sleep long enough that I can wake up naturally at a time that won't make me feel like an asshole when I actually get up. Okay. Just don't sleep. Oh, that's... Oh, I just remembered this fucking shit. Yep. I just remembered. Huh. <gasps> Welcome to this. It's like actually a bullet hell. But the problem is, is that it's this, your movement options are limited, to say the least. That hit me. That hit me. Dude. Dude. Come on, dude. Come on. Gonna hold forward, hold diagonal. Oh, another layer. Okay. Oh, I have a projectile immune dash. I forgot about that. Wait, that's kind of a good ability for that room, huh? Well, I made three thousand dollars, so I'll take it. Forgot I could do that. Although, I probably still would have crashed anyway and taken damage, so let's not get ourselves here. It was a temporary solution. Okay. Just want to get the gold coins. Um... Did we go all the way up? I believe so. Yep. Okay. All the way up, and then across, and then up. I got it. Okay. Easy clap. I'm thinking ch chat tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. But I think I don't wanna do a long stream just in preparation. 
I would like, uh, I'll probably take Thursday off, though. So, I don't want to just take the day off. But I'm not really sure. I have to think about it. Just because I stopped the stream early doesn't guarantee I'm going to go to bed at a reasonable time, you know? That's kind of the problem. That's the problem I face right now. I can't get up here, can I? <gasps> I did it! Yo! No! Oh, you bitch. Alright, hold on. I'll fix it. Hmm. Take the day off before. Yeah, you're probably right. But I might need the day after off, too. <laughs> uh. Uh. Whee! Look at that. Nice and clean. Just take both? That sounds like a good idea. You know what that means, right, chat? Tomorrow is Lever Dead. Oh, shit! Whoa! Crazy! Well, maybe it's not. Who knows? I, uh... I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. We... Hmm. Eight hours, baby. Eight hours. It is my three-year stream anniversary. I've been doing this shit for three years. Starting Wednesday. That's a long time. Ooh. Oh, this, this little room... <coughs> Talking too much. I have built up. I have accumulated. Flemdre. I'm not worrying about achievements until I get that all gold survival mode shit. Then. Then I become an achievement fiend. Because at that point, I'm fucking invincible, you know? At that point, I can do it. We haven't played survival in a while, though. Uh, huh. Yeah! Can't do that. It's impossible. Hmm. <laughs> Never get the cold stream achievement. Just, just solo it, dude. Run it with bots. This ring is different from all the others. I can tell. Aya. Aya, 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 aya. That ring's made Remy go crazy. Ooh, scary. But actually, she's not too different from normal. Ooh. <clears throat> Last man standing mutation makes those campaigns go by really fast, yes. Because you only have to deal with special infected and their spawns are scurried enough that if you just run, you actually don't have to fight that many infected at all. Oh, I got it. No, oh, that's gotta work, dude. That's gotta work. Mm. <laughs> uh. Huh. That worked. How about that? To be honest, I'm shocked. Free stuff. Hmm. Hold on, can you do... Can you do what are you trying to prove on Last Man Standing? Because that seems to be, like, pre be pretty easy. If you only have to fight specials and no common. <laughs> 20 minutes. I know how long it takes. I've been a victim of it multiple times. Hmm. I don't know how mutations affect, uh, campaign unlocks. Because to be honest, the expert mode, the biggest dangers are friendly fire and common infected. And in Last Man Standing, neither of those things apply. So, you know, I feel like I can do it. Hmm. Someday I want to get to the point 
where we can play the the versus mode where no health packs show up. But to do that, we need to get to a point where teams are consistently getting to the safe room. Which doesn't happen because that game is bullshit. <laughs> Alright? It's just bullshit. Spitter gets one cheap shot and suddenly your ass is grass. You're telling me I don't have any med kits to circumvent that? Go fuck yourself. Man, I got stuck in spitter shit last night in a spot where the game told me I had to wait 10 seconds because I got stuck. Wait, did I just die? Uh-oh. So I- Oh, shit. So I just had to sit there and take it, and then I fell down, and it all went to shit. I was upset. Oh, look at that money. Achievements are enabled on last man standing. Well, I figured that much, but I was just wondering if, like, the campaign achievements only procced if you played it in campaign mode, not mutation. Uh... There was a whole area I didn't explore. Hmm. Hmm. Boing boing. That, uh, that side area was probably an item. Uh... Uh... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh. Cool room out of ten! Okay, that happened. There we go. Uh, I guess I... Hold on. Hold on, before I leave this room and do all that over again, I need to see if I can get up there through double jumps. Woo! The answer is no. Well, this is okay. If I get hit once, I think I have to leave. Okay, 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 okay. What is this room, dude? What is this room? I'm gonna hit that. Um, I guess I go in here. Okay. Where the... I'm not ready for this. Nope. I'm not ready for that. Nope. Um... I'm leaving. I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Bye, see you later. Okay. Colorful Rain Jack, the Scarlet Staline. Okay. I'm going back. How can I buy anything? 6400. 6400. 6400. I bought that ring, right? I'm pretty sure I did. Money. I'm gonna wait for the next shop. Okay. There might be a better item waiting, so I'll wait for the next shop. I know where I need to go, so I'll just do that. And I'll use the dash this time in that room, so I get through it. There we go. Most every non-specific achievement that can be gotten in Last Man Standing. Oh, whoops. Probably should have killed that thing before I read that. Seven one said, but no one dying. Spare Last Man Standing effectively counts as the three and his teammates is dead. Well, they are dead. That's why they're not there. That makes sense to me. Um, right, I can't get back up there. That's the problem. I'll just go this way. I like that in Last Man Standing, the jockey does a ton of damage to you when it grabs you, so you don't have to sit there and wait for it to chip you out. It's a nice touch. 
Oh, whoa. Don't go... Uh... Alright. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. It's on a cooldown! I forgot! Whee! 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 <laughs> this is great! Look at that! Um, we go up and around. Yes, yes, up and around. Okay, we can do that. I played a few mutations, only a few of them. Tank run is fun because it's very silly. Uh, I need to be a higher floor. Okay. Up we go. Up we go. Up. All right. Yesterday when we played was the least amount of tanks I'd ever seen in the entirety of Versus. Of course, we got one on Dead Center 1. We tried to wait in the elevator and wait for the tank to lose, uh, to gain AI control, and then we were gonna chip it out with handguns through the door, and then the door opened on its own. So we had, uh, the, there was just a tank in front of us, and we had to fight it. Hmm. Different in difficulty based on campaign. What do you mean by that? Uh. Wait, I can go around all this if I go up. Hold on. Let me do this. Yeah, I can go around this if I if I cheese it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. The difficulty is mostly the same for all campaigns. Well... Yeah, but it's mostly based on crescendo events at that point. Some chapters have very annoying crescendo events. Like the stadium gate in Dark Carnival. Also, all of Dark Carnival's crescendo events happen at the end of the chapter, so they're kind of a pain in the ass. The roller coaster, the carousel, and the uh, the stadium gate. On expert mode, that shit is hard, and they're at the end, so you have to you have to get through the entire chapter and then deal with it. Remember Death Toll? Holy shit, that was hard. <laughs> but you got through that one though. I probably should've just used the dash button at this point. Yeah. There we go. Whoa. Yeah. You dirty rat! You! I am now upset. I didn't know. I didn't know. Tried to hug the wall. Oh. I missed the gold coin. Whee! The specifically reverses, we played a... We played an entire campaign with the only tank showing up being at the finale. Like, how does that happen? I know for a fact we've played games where a tank has shown up in every fucking chapter. And then no team gets past it. <laughs> so the game is basically decided by the single runner who gets past the tank and gets the most, uh, the most additional points. Hmm. 
Okay. Money! Hold on, is there a way in there? Is there... Is there a way in that wall? It has to be, right? You see how it's like connected? And there's like an opening? And it goes all the way down there? Surely, right? Surely. Hmm. There's nothing in there? But look how much... Look at that! How else do you get into that little spot all the way down yonder? I don't even remember what item I just picked up. I, I... I wasn't paying attention to it. All right. Guess I'll just... be on my way then. Is there really no way down there in that big open spot that connected to the top? That's so weird. Actually, I'm dying, Squirtle, so... Let's just do this. Alright. To the shop! Okay. And now we do the loop. I need this money anyway, so... Not that bad. It's, uh, this way, yep. Okay. Ding, ding, ding. You know, it was funny. We played uh, we played Death Toll last time. And we got to the end. Like, we got past the Crescendo event. Finally. Both teams did. There was a witch. There was a witch in the way. And after, like, three minutes of getting people up, we finally got to it. Ran past it. Killed it, and then immediately tank music happened. I was like, what the fuck? You're telling me the last three minutes of that map didn't even fucking matter because there was a tank like two steps away from us. You can cheese the plane achievement in Swamp Fear by just activating it and booking it back to the safe house. I don't think the damn thing works because I have done it twice now without taking damage and it hasn't given it to me. But I've done that exact same strategy on the Xbox and gotten it. In other words, it's bullshit. Alright. Let's see. Whee! I don't need those little achievements. I'm waiting to the, for the day someone gets one hit wonder. We've gotten close. I think Andrew holds the record so far. For the highest damage pounce at like 23. I think my record is 21. Oh, I fell. God damn it. I might have gotten 23. Or 22. But I'm pretty sure my record is 21. Hmm. It counts temp health is probably why. Oh, that's silly. But that sounds like valve. Alright. Just gotta get those additional two points of damage. Dude, it feels so good when you get a 20 damage pounce, though. Because it's just like, oh, yep, there's my hunter. He just casually did more damage than a charger before he died. That feels fucking good. I'll tell you what. When your hunter is doing more damage than the charger on its, uh, on its life, that's a good hunter. Because the charger is designed to be the, you know, he's the beat stick. He does the damage. And you get punched by it three times and you're pissed. Because you're like, how did a charger just punch you three times? That's why I prefer melee weapons. Because if I have to dance with a charger with a fucking handgun, I'm going to get punched three times. Take a clean 30. And then I'm going to be upset about it. Uh, I did the drop. So we're going up again. Okay. Hmm. I like killing a hunter mid-pounce, so its corpse just slides into you. That feels good. I got a few accidental headshots like that before, where a hunter just leaps straight up in front of me, 
and directly puts its head in my uh, in my line of sight, and it just dies. And I'm like, yep, earned that one. <laughs> I earned that one. It was actually just a great shot, but sometimes the hunter just puts himself in a position where he gets hit in the head. And it's like, oops, I'm fucking dead. Also, I don't really understand how damage is calculated in that game. Because I was the spitter, and I got shot, and I took one damage. I just don't understand why. I had 8 HP, and then I got hit, and I was at 7. How the fuck did a bullet only do one damage to me? That doesn't even make sense. How is bullet damage calculated if I can take one? Uh, up and around. Yep, this way. This way, yep. There we go. Whoa. Hmm. Distance base. So the farther away you are, the less damage it does. Is that why sniper rifles are so effective? Is because they don't take that penalty? That would actually explain, uh, that would actually explain a lot. Because assault rifles from a distance definitely take a while to actually work. But if snipers with the scope, they, they definitely let you get a clean shot. And the trade-off is that they don't do shit to the tank. <laughs> so, the tank is in your face, so assault rifles and shotguns specifically become super handy. But sniper rifles are really good for, uh... Area control. That makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, we go up. Yep. I will only grab a rifle if I have no ammo and it's the only gun available. I just don't. I just don't mesh with the the rifles or the sniper rifles. I should say the hunting rifle, and the sniper rifle. I don't think anyone uses the uh, the bolt action rifle if they can help it because it's just not good. Why would they make a bolt action rifle in a game like that? I'm skipping this room. I'm going around it. The bolt action rifle is, is not part of the base game, by the way. Hmm. The reason the sniper rifle isn't as effective as the tank is because headshots don't matter to the tank. Headshots are... If you get a headshot, it multiplies your damage by four. And with no falloff from a sniper rifle, a headshot is basically a confirmed kill. But with a tank, where headshots literally don't matter, you're always going to do the same damage no matter what. And the tank is always going to be in your face and not really let you breathe, so... It just gets out DPS. I'm not saying it's a bad gun. But it's just the core strategy of a sniper rifle is it loses to the monkey nature of the tank. Whereas a shotgun is at its strongest because the tank is always going to be in your face. And a point blank shotgun blast is going to do a lot of fucking damage to a tank. Especially if you can put 10 of them in rapid succession. Uh, going around the bend here. Hmm. You know what? I'm going over. I don't see a chest, so... Yeah. Oh, I see a chest. Coin number four. What? Two, three, four. I'm missing a coin, dude. Okay. Uh... Now what? Do I... Can I get... Hold on. Can I go to the shop in level seven? You're missing the one from Mailing's area. Yeah, because I didn't- oh, I have jump abilities now. Hold on, can I reach the shop in, uh, level 7 while I'm here? That would be very convenient if I could. I don't have the means to reach it. What is so fucking stupid? Look how far away it is to get to. Alright, let's go back to Mailing's area then. But first, I want to go back to level 2. Let me go back to level two. Is the shop close? 
close enough, I guess. Alright, let's go. I'll go this way. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Alright, up and over. Do the hunting rifle and the sniper rifle do the same amount of damage? Because the 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 hunting rifle is from Left 4 Dead 1. It's part of the tier 2 guns with the M16 and the assault shotgun. But the, the AK, the SCAR, the sniper rifle, and uh, the combat shotgun are all part of Left 4 Dead 2. The sniper rifle, as far as I can tell, its only benefits come from... Uh, it's only benefits come from the fact that it is it holds twice as so much in the clip as the hunting rifle does. Down and around, okay. Hmm. I feel like it would make sense if the hunting rifle was just a little bit stronger in some capacity, but that's fine. The sniper rifle having 30 in the clip and being the same damage is just better. Hmm. The AWP, is that the Counter-Strike one? Uh, this way. Okay. Okay, so the, the, the Bolt Action one does deal a little more damage. 115 base. So that, that one shot's a spitter. Even without a headshot, huh? <laughs> Damn, that's... That's actually pretty good, when you think about it. That's a pretty good fucking gun to deal with that thing. Because that thing loves to hide. Alright. I'm gonna go up and around. Of course, that means you also have to use the bolt action effect on everything. Bolt action deals 90. Alright, there's two, uh, there's two different, uh... Sniper rifles. But aren't they both bolt action though? Aren't both the Counter Strike ones bolt action? What the? What the? Huh? What the fuck? Ew. Oh, get me out of this shit. Alright. I see. Was that really worth it? Uh, I don't know. So, is there anything left in here I can get? Hunting rifle sucks? I wouldn't say it sucks, it's just vastly inferior to the sniper rifle. You would still grab it if it was there. Because you, you're allowed to start with it in hard rain. It's definitely better than the SMG and the pump action. Just one thing that bit in the lower left. How do I... Can I get it right now? I'm assuming I can. Do you see the pathway that connects? Because I need to figure out how to get in there. Hmm. Go to the huge room in the middle and there's a hidden path in the lower left. Huge room in the middle. When you say in the middle, you mean the... Past the swirly staircase, yeah? Where the shop is? I don't understand why the silenced SMG is stronger than the unsilenced SMG. I had no idea that was the case. And it just feels so strange that it is the case. Also, the, uh, the chrome shotgun and the, the regular pump action shotgun have like a fraction of a difference in reload speed. Like what? Why? Okay. Huge room in the middle of the map. Okay. Okay. Let's go up and around. I got it. Pew! Either way, the SMG still takes like a whole fucking clip to really kill affected. It's really annoying. It's- uh, it just eats through your ammo. 
I like the AK because one bullet can kill a common infected. It's very, very cost effective. You gotta put at least like eight of the SMG in one of them. At least sometimes two from the M16. But the AK is just like, nah, son, you're done, it's dead. Yeah, it sucks on realism because it's not very effective at doing headshots. The SMG doesn't seem to have that much effect when, uh, like on commons for headshots. The other ones do. Shotgun's fine because shotgun just has enough spread damage that it pretty much kills them anyway. But you should still aim for the head. Realism zombies are sturdy. There we go. You just gotta be a good shot, that's all. The AK's act- like, the AK's, uh, DPS- well, I guess not DPS, but it's speed of fire or rate of fire is slower than the other ones, but I- it's actually a lot easier to, like, single tap shoot with it because of that. Like, the M16, the Scar is triple tap no matter what you do. Oh, food D. Ooh. A big dessert. The Scar is triple tap no matter what you do. The M16 is fast, but the like the AK you can just tap the tap the shoot button and then let your recoil kind of like reset, and then you can just tap shoot, which kind of offsets the the uh, the recoil. So that's what I do with the AK. I tap shoot it, so I can gain maintain a little more accuracy. Also, crouching definitely helps. Okay, so what next? I guess I go back to Mailing's area now, huh? Okay. Hmm. Alright, Mailing, it's your turn. Mailing area, your coin. Okay, I'll get that. Now I have Little Cake and Big Cake. Okay. So let's go back to Mailing's area. We'll get you know, all the coins make all stuff much easier. Okay. Uh, so I have to climb all the way up there, huh? Okay. Okay, I'm going. Jesus Christ, this is gonna suck, huh? Okay. I aim for the head. For special infected, I definitely aim for the head. Cause it, like, I, I've grown accustomed to the head position on the charger as well. Cause the charger and the jockey have strange head positions. The spitter, I don't really think about it too much because the spitter is fucking weird. But for the charger, I tend to aim around where his heart is because that's usually where his head goes when he charges. So you can kind of, you can kind of focus his head. And then when he charges, you can focus on uh, his head still by adjusting your, your line of sight. Now, AI Charger obviously take less damage anyway, but for humans, it actually helps pretty significantly. You can stop the mid-charge with some good aim. Although human chargers tend to not charge from far away, and they usually punch me in the ass before charging me. Fuck you, Pluto, by the way. You do that all the goddamn time. Every time I get punched twice by a goddamn charger, and then charge, it's always Pluto. Every fucking time. It's valuable tech. It's good tech. The hit confirm on the charger is legit. But Pluto's the only one who really like optimizes it or like uses it extensively. That's how I know he's the one who's the charger because I get punched before I get hit. Uh, let's see. Uh, over the big pyramid. Yeah, this way. Okay. The hit confirm's good because you can tell, like, you actually hit someone. And then you charge. As opposed to Hail Mary in it. Because sometimes when you Hail Mary it, you get the buttery charger. Of course, there are situations where you can, uh... There are situations where you can Hail Mary it because you, these survivors are definitely going to be on the, the point of interest. Like the escalators, for example. I'm honestly surprised it took us as long as it did to get Scattering Ram, considering how often those positions pop up. But I have gotten Scattering Ram. <laughs> it's, 
so I'm good. That achievement feels so good, too, because you just hit fucking everybody. You just get crunch, crunch, crunch. And you get a guaranteed 30 on your, your target. And you do at least 10 to everyone else. So the charger gets, like, a fat chunk of damage just by having a good, ch a good charge. Um, both of these locations lead to the same way, so I guess I'll just go this way, huh? Okay. I keep forgetting about the melee into charge as well. I need to stop forgetting it because I get hit by it and I'm like, oh, damn it, that's, like, but then I, 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 like, panic. Sometimes I panic with the charger and then my charge is just terrible. The charger is definitely my favorite, uh, infected to use, though. He's fun because he always gets to do damage, and just charging people is funny. Because he has potential to just accidentally kill you. Unlike the other ones. You know? Like, that's just what the charger does. He can oops you really hard, and... I am very f fond of... Characters who can oops the player. You should have just played better. I've died to chargers in a few different ways now. I've been hit off the map. I've been hit with enough impact that I died from the fall damage. That's always a funny one. That one's legitimately fucking funny. I've never been mad at a charger before. <laughs> I think chargers are funny as shit when they get someone. I can't help but, like, when I see a good charge, it's a good charge, you know? I get mad at hunters and jockeys because I feel like I shove them and they get on me anyway and I'm like, fuck off. But the charger hits me, and I'm just like, alright, you got me, GG. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about that. Sometimes I just deer in headlights, the fucker. Like, he's just coming at me, and I'm like, yeah, he's coming. And then I get hit, and like, yeah. There was no way to get out of this one. <laughs> he had me, dude. He had my number. He grabbed my controller, yanked it out of my hands, and I was just a sitting duck. Oh, shit, I fell. Man, chat, I'm about to end the stream early and play Left 4 Dead. <laughs> uh, let's see. Up and around. I'm kidding! I can't get up there. It's impossible. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, I guess I go this way, huh? Why do I go through that? What? Oh, I could have done this this whole fucking time? Oh, this area is... This area sucks. This area fucking sucks. No wonder I missed the goddamn coin. This entire time, I could have just came up here without double jump. Ain't that some shit. Yeah, look at this shit. Ah, uh, sigh. There it is, coin one. Okay, I could have done that this entire time. So now what? Now what? What comes next? What should I do next? I need to get Remy's item, right? I need to get Remy's item or something. The donation box is area one if you want to hand over the coins. Should I do that now? There's still like... There's still like four levels I haven't explored. Huh. Alright, I guess I'll do that then. I'm picking Flan again. Okay. Donation box is that way, I got it. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. Oosh. Hmm. Hmm. Can't help it, man. The game is fun. 
That's all. It's very fun. I enjoy playing it. What can I say? There's always some new shit. Go to area 7 after? Okay, I'll do that. So why does opening the donation box make this, like, I'll just do it. Hmm. I'll just do it. I got it. Wait, give me in the... Give me in there. There we go. Whee! Oh, look at this shit. Okay. There we go. All four of them. Gotta get that Dracula. There we go. Hmm. Wing! Remy is exclusive equipment, lets her fly around. Oh, god damn it. Well, now it's Remy's game for the end of time. Okay. Sorry, Remy, it's your turn forever now. Colorful rain. Okay. Wow. Okay. So, which way? Warp to area two, go left and fly up the top exit with Remy, then check in the ceiling for an item. Okay. That'd be the one spot I haven't explored, yeah? Go left and fly up the top of one exit. You mean you mean that spot? There's two spots I haven't explored over there, so I guess I just gotta go check them both, huh? Alright, let's go, Remy. The little spot? There's a big spot, too. I'll check them both. Oh, this is some shit. Look at this. Game is now solved. I'll have to check all the different locations that I can fly with. Yeah! Everyone should be able to fly. This is, uh... It just means I'm not playing any other character except Vermilia for the rest of the game. I'll get two, I'll get two. I'll get two. You need flight though, to like, you need it. It's kind of awkward. Maybe it's because I'm on control stick, but the diagonals are a bit strange. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go up. You move slower when you shoot. Up, up, up! Flight's only needed for optional stuff? Oh. Wait, hold on. I need the other... I need the item first before I do that. Oh, God. Hold on. Hmm. You don't even need the coins? Really? Oh. That's weird. Alright, well I will just walk. I will walk uh, around this way. Put the ceiling in this room more carefully. What do you mean? No, but there's a little opening all the way to the left side. You see it? I gotta go check that first. I gotta go check that first. It might be important. Clear the way, coming through. I'll go back. I have to go back anyway. The left side opening was locked. Oh. Whoops. I guess I forgot about that. Alright, I'm going back. I got it, I got it. I'm going back. Ah! Uh... Alright. It was this way, right? Yep. This way, this way, this way. Up, over, and out. 
Okay. And then up. Okay. Look at her go. Up, up, up. Eels. Uh. Uh. Ah. Ah. Grimoire. An old musty book lets you return home and warp to shops as much as you please. Oh, I didn't even realize I could only do that once. That's a pretty cool book. Alright. So I guess now I'm here. Yeah, I don't have to equip both, uh, both things. Alright, that just did uh, a lot of damage, wouldn't you say? Huh. Where's the shop here? Hmm. That's a big Euclidy. Ah, uh, I'm dying. I can't tell. The left from where you are now. Let me check that little room first. Hold on. Wow, that's not good. Wow. This is not Remy's area. This is... Huh. Straight up. Ah! What's this? Kirisame Blade, a legendary weapon, lets you erase regular bullets fired by enemies. Do you see how much that costs? Okay. Okay. There's the book. There's the wing. I gotta buy that. That's what I'm saving my money for now. So the book only takes two. Which means I can use the extra two for... <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Alright. Level 7 north. Oh, this is the last shop, huh? That would explain the sword. Okay. Yep. Yep. Bat damage. Yep. So you need flight to reach that shop, huh? I guess that's optional content. I, but that's hella inconvenient, don't you think? So, like, this is the last main area then, huh? The other areas, I guess, are side content. I'm almost dead. Uh, almost dead, Captain. I do not like these, you pity. Nope. Nope, nope. Explore the whole room before I go through anything. Make sure I get all of it. Nothing. Good. I'll take it. There's a big one. Technically, you can fight Raymond right now and beat the game. I... Maybe. Maybe. There's post-game, isn't there? Or do I get the post-game stuff before I actually do the final boss? Making it not really post-game, but like before post game, you know what I mean? I gotta buy that sword. That's what I'm saving my money for. Good thing I held on to it for so long, huh? I would like to link up these uh, entrances. Just for my own, like, sake. Nothing in here? Nope. Okay. Do everything, then beat the game. I can't remember if one of the games... One of the games had, like, actual post-game, you know? 
One of these tiles on the map looks like you can go through it. Uh... Okay, guess not. I guess it's all a trick. Hmm. I want to get the sword again. I got the sword in, in Boho too. Alright, time to return home because this area is hard. Okay. Yo, yo, we had the extra zone. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Let's see. So, my map looks silly. Oh. But I want the money. Once I buy the sword, I don't have to save money anymore. Well, I mean, I'm going to use it for the upgrades and stuff. Those will eventually cap out for sure. But getting that sword will kind of like remove any need to really grind ever again. And I'm sure it's a good item. Neat. Nothing. Hmm. I don't even know where Reimu is. I figured putting the coins in the slot would take me to Reimu, not give me this. Okay. Just 10,000 more. Oh my Jesus. Dude, this... This fucking game sometimes, I swear. Alright. I, it somehow went better than every other room like it. Still, they do a lot of damage. Look at this. I remember... Uh, what's her name? Patchy had a cool ability that let her see secrets. What good is seeing a secret wall if you can't reach it? So you're telling me this area is beatable without flight? <laughs> For real? How? You can't even go anywhere without flight. I've already explored a lot of it. There's not really much to see though. Ew. Oh, hold on. Found my first secret. Not much to this one. If you take the engine from Flan's area, you can go through here and reach the end of the area without with any character. Oh. I guess I can't enter this uh, from this side without flight, huh? Oh. I'm glad Remy's shot gets infinitely better when she's flying. That helps a lot. So everything I'm doing right now is definitely optional content. If the way to go is for Flan's area, then until I link back up with it, this is all side area. So I can free to explore just a little bit. Okay. Wait a minute, what? Oh. What? Hold on. What was the point of all that? Um, why, what was the point of that entire side route? I didn't even find a chest in there. Did I? I definitely didn't. Dead end with no purpose at all. I fucking love this game, man. Why, why? What is the point of those rooms? Okay, go this way. This way. 
this. Oh, yes. Nice and good and good and nice. Okay, so those connect. That's good to know. I'm still not back on the flan path. Oh, I am now. This is the flan path, yep. Okay. Okay, so now I have connected everything. I see. I see, I see, I see, I get you. Dead ends are one thing. Elongated dead ends. Ugh. Ugh. Blech. That entire sub area behind a hidden wall was completely worthless. That's all I got from that. That's just that's just frustrating. What's this cake doing here? Oh god. Not that great. Hmm? My cake is missing. Well. Uh. Oh, I've eaten the big cake. Uh oh. Hold on. I can take one more bullet. One more bullet. I want enough for the sword. Nothing? No. 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 Where are you taking me? Jesus. It's so convoluted. Whew. Surely, right? Where have you spit me? Oy, 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 oy. Ah. This is a dead end. You're telling me that whole area was a dead end. Any particular reason why this game exists? Okay. All right. Level 10 room is there, just so you peek and tell you there's more to level 10 to explore. I could have assumed that just by looking at the size of every other goddamn map of this fucking game. I wish... I wish to be free. Yes. Yes. Good damage. Good damage. Good damage. Good damage. Look how convoluted that path is. Uh. Well. Maybe I go back and explore it just so I can do that and then put it on the map. Also gets me money. Why not? Let's do it. I want the money. That's all. Let's go explore a dead end. Knowingly, of course. Look how much money I have. I can almost buy Marissa's cool ass sword. Mm -mm. Let's take a walk down the little pathway.
Yup. Yeah. Yeah. That is some yep cock right there. Holy shit. Can you believe? Can you believe something like that exists? Who would make that? What kind of crazy bastard would make that? I just can't believe this. Alright, I'm buying the goddamn sword. Next next time, anyway. I'll need the money for the extra upgrades anyway, so I'll just, uh... You know, I'll just go my way. Going my way! Good, good. Take a fat chunk of damage. Classic. Classic. Uh, any more? Anyone else want to fall on me? Anyone else? No? Alright, cool. Uh, I guess we go this way then. This is just... Phenomena. Look at that, yeah, look at that, yeah. Hmm. Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! Enemies! Real enemies! Okay. Whoa. Whoa, two ways to go, whoa! Hmm. Look around here? You mean like, you mean like in a wall? You mean like in a wall? I'm gonna go this way. I like this area. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. I'll take it. Ew. Am I gonna run into Rainbow? <laughs> That's some good music. Hold on, I'm coming back there. I'll go back. I just wanna explore the rest. What's this way? Scary. Whoa. Wait. Wait, 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 what? Whoa. There's no way through that. Okay, hold on. I gotta go the long way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa. Whoa. Okay, I'm going the long way. Hold on. That is some shit. <sighs> Bullet dodger! Okay. Alright. I now have a cool sword. A legendary weapon. Okay. Now we go all the way back. Gotta get that evasion. Look at that swiftness. Look at this dodge. I still need money because there's still some upgrades to get. I don't know if they're the last upgrades or there's like a few more after them, but obviously I want them. I was just saving money for the next shop item, but I figured it would be expensive. I wasn't expecting it to be 600,000. Or 60,000. 
expensive. Uh, up and across, yep. This is just a cool room. I want the money. Okay. And we're here. I want to explore the funny music place in a second. Gonna make sure I get everything I can out here though. That's all. Oh, there's even more shit now. You know, rooms like these don't have to exist. You just, you don't, you don't have to make them. If anything, I would say you could just get away with not making a single room like that. Big empty room. Perhaps? Bigger empty room? Perhaps? Okay. Alright. Okay. Wasn't empty after all. So now we go this direction. You see how it's all coming together now? I think this room kind of sucks. Just a little bit. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Hard get. That's it. Look how much work I had to do for that, dude. Okay, I'm leaving and I'm going back in. Legendary sword. I want to equip it. I want to equip it. But I have to wait. Okay. There's one more slot to buy at least. Okay, let's go. We I can't get rid of the money ring yet. I haven't used all the money. Once I get once I get all the money I need though, I can get rid of it and free up a bunch of slots, which is pretty good. So let's go this way. I want to go to the funny music zone again. Remy's watching her four hour program. Hmm. This way. This way. Um, up and around. Yes. That's a cool, fair spawn point. Alright. All the way up. Funny music zone. If I could just get one more slot. Over here. This music reminds me of Wario's Battlefield from uh, Mario Party. <laughs> yeah, Battle Canyon. Oh, what the fuck? This was spaghetti theme the whole time? There's just no way. Hold on, I'm starting it over. 
Starting it over. It really does sound like it. <laughs> uh, uh, up? Around? I like Wario's Battle Canyon. It's a good track. Mario's Rainbow Castle is my favorite from that game, though. The Bowser level, too, is really fucking good music. Also, there's a little bit of... Um, there's actually a little bit of S uh, Super Mario RPG in that uh, in that theme, if you didn't know. You can hear it a little bit. Like Bowser's Villa from Super Mario RPG is a... It's, it's in that theme for Magma Mountain. Heart get. Not a huge fan of the board. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here it is. Not a huge fan of the board, but I dig the music. I think my least favorite board in Mario Party 1 is Peach's Birthday Cake, followed by... Uh, I was gonna say Luigi's Engine Room, but I genuinely don't remember anything about that board. Actually, my least favorite board... Oh, it's definitely Peach's Birthday Cake. My second least favorite board is Eternal Star. I don't like that board's gimmick. I'm gonna go up. Well, that happened. Huh. Okay, then. Hmm. I think Peach's birthday cake is, is a terrible board. Because the map, the board is extremely uh, streamlined. Slot, nice. The board is extremely streamlined. Uh, you have a, you have to roll a one and four to go, to whether or not you go to Bowser. And every time it gets rolled, until Bowser is rolled, the, the chances of, a like, the, the seeds don't reset. So sometimes you can just get to Toad and, uh, get to the branch path and Bowser's just like, haha, fuck you, you have to come over here now. And then you have to deal with that. I also don't like how the, the board is full of piranha plants that steal stars. Like, I just don't like the board's gimmick at all. Trap. A trap to be set up on the ground lets you catch a certain fast target. Wait, what? What? Okay. Uh... Drowning in money. Look at that. Hmm. My party one items were just a roll again shroom and skip a turn shroom for the mushroom spaces. Correct. They were bullshit. You either you don't even get a you don't even get the decision. Oh. I'll see you later. Oh, I'll see you later. Okay, I found Ray Moo. Hold on, penal. Yeah. I guess now it's time to explore, huh? Okay. Get her! Yeah! 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 Level 8. Let's go quack. Tried to run over. Whoa! All right, I have the curious zombie blade. I forgot. She has stealth. Stealth operations. Door locked. Door is locked. It's the quack zone. So this whole area is for quack. This is cool. 
Assuming the area doesn't suck. Hmm. I can't fly anymore. I don't know, I like I like the other music. Oh, ooh. Oh, this is great. What is invisible? What good's being invisible if they can see me? Alright. Where do we even go from here? This way, I guess. Hmm. Makes you invincible? Oh. Yeah, until I shoot. Oh. Oh, I need a key for that. Okay. I've eaten one cake. Ah! Man, come on. Kill faster. No, that's not gonna work, is it? Nope. Hmm. That looks cool. Wanna fall into that. Kinda just sucks. It's too busy hitting all the other goddamn bullets. Return home, quack. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. No. Well, now I feel bad. All right. <laughs> Give me the power ringu. Uh. She fell in the ditch. Okay. Guess I go this way first since I'm here already. That's better. Oh, oh, great. That works. Whee! I need a sick, I need a key to get out of here. This is Quack's dungeon. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I feel my tummy rumbling. Guess I didn't eat dinner after all. Or even lunch for that matter. I had a Pop Tart! I am dying a little frequently here. Uh, I guess the way to go is whatever way I can go. Explore everything until something happens. What did I equip again? I equipped the ring. Yeah, I did. The ring's good. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. I see. Hmm. Hmm. Whatever way seems the most fun, I will go first. Yeah. Dude. Dude. Oh. <laughs> I just feel bad for her, man. Hmm. 
Hmm. Ah, uh, this way. Put a bear trap on the ground and she ran into it. It was cool at first, I'm playing as Quack, but then I look at her and, like, let her out. She's got, she's got a house to clean. She doesn't have time for this shit. Oh. Uh, now which way do I go? I guess I'm gonna go this way and see what happens. I can't go down the bottom end. Okay. These things are annoying as shit with all the different takes of elevation. But falling would be really funny. Okay. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay. Okay. Wasn't wasn't as funny as I thought it'd be. No, dude, no, no. Okay. Okay. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest with you. I didn't think that would kill me. Alright, well now I have to do that again. Oh well, I didn't actually lose that much progress. Just gonna invincibility my way through most of this area because it's kinda poopy. Quackama's moveset does not work well for this area. Because there's too many goddamn bumps for her to effectively take advantage of her shitty shot. Not to mention these assholes have, like, super homing. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hmm. All right. We'll just uh we'll just call that map completion. We'll just call that map completion. See? Now it looks good on the map. Now I am going to run with the invincibility. I can never trust anything this dev does because I can never tell if it's like what what's going on with it, you know? It's it's a hard thing to trust because there's so many nonsensical ideas. Nope, you can't hit me. Fuck you, Luigi. There we go. Come on, man. Well, this looks... That's actually not that bad at all. I don't see any secrets. You could use your invincibility to shortcut that. Nope. Slot. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now I can leave. 
and come back. There we go. How do I remove trap? How do I free? Okay, now I go up and around. Huh. Ooh. Holy shit. You are way behind. That is like un unbelievable levels of stream delay. Koa put her foot in a bear trap and now she's stuck, which makes her a selectable character. It was interesting and it was cool, but now it's just, I feel remorse for my actions. Alright, up we go. Hmm. Nearly two hours ago? It's only been an hour and a half. Alright. I'm unsure how big this area is. It just ain't enough. It just ain't right! Okay. You wouldn't think it'd be that difficult to kill an enemy in that, like, that situation, but it surprisingly is. I'm just doing this. Too many bends. Okay. Now we climb. Now we ascend. Aha! Key! A totally average iron key lets you open a locked door somewhere. I can think of a good spot for that. I need you again, Quack. So now everyone can come in here, right? So now you can enter and exit freely. Yeah. But there's also the area... This... There's also the area off to the side. Let's explore that. Down here. It wants me to wait here. Look at this snake. Tunnel snakes! I'm gonna take damage for this. No, nope, we're good. Dude, what the... Okay. Ooh, that was close. This is insanity. Now give me key too so I can go back and open that wooden door. Alright. Dude, this is really stretching this out, aren't we? Okay. Okay. All right. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> <laughs> I could have made that. No, no, there's a cooldown! Forgot about the cooldown.
Key two. Totally average golden key. Let's you open another locked door somewhere. There's another. I know where to get. I know where one area is. There's one area that Quack can go to in here. It's uh all the way around over here. I don't remember where the other golden key doors were. I remember a Euclid block. Hmm. A gate in level 8 as well as two very special gates in level 2. Two gates in level 2, huh? Okay. Okay. Go over and out. Ooh. Sneaky. There we go. Alright, what's the treasure? <gasps> Dash boots are! The other pair of boots suited for physical activity lets you dash by pressing the B button. Yeah, that's not a... Uh, um... What? Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. When you shoot, you go speed. Okay. So now I want to go to level two, yeah? Actually, are there any areas I can explore here? I see one. I see one area I can go to with flight. So let's do that first, I suppose. Let me get that area first. I, I don't want to play as Quackama anymore. Alright, I forgot when I hold B button. It doesn't really count for flight. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, this way. Yes. Yes. You are fucking with me. Ah! All right. All right. Okay. Well, that's all the area one, I believe. So let's go to, uh, let's all go to the lobby. Mine. Mine. Okay. So now I need to go to the area all... Hold on, there's two doors here. One's at the... Where, where was... One of them was at the bottom of the map, right? And the other one's in the top left corner. I seem to recall there being a chest around the entrance. One of the upper left, the other is the upper right with the little square around it. Upper right with the little square. And the, oh I see the upper left. Those little squares. What? To the left of your scroll. Oh, that's pretty close. I'll get that one first. Wasn't there another chest further down that needed a, a key? Or did I get that already? It was just blocked by dash boots or something. Or was that- wasn't that the spring I got? I feel like I got that. Uh, 
This way. Oh, there it is. Huh? What? Whoa, it's her! Whoa! Hold on. Hold on. I'm not mentally prepared for this. Alright, now I am. Ah! Hit me with that with that maneuver. What's this move called again? Moonlit Ray? I don't remember. Die, Ruma. Die. This is Nightbird. I remember the swishy motion, yeah. Because she does this in uh oh, Avania too. Ruma is dead! Banzai! Bye, Ruma. She's gone. That's it. Alright. Well, let me. <gasps> there she is! She took her ribbon, her, her hairband off, or her ribbon. I am now Ruma. Huge attack buff. Oh my God! Look at the stars. She's just chilling up there now. Can she fly? Kill, just kill Reimu. Okay, well, I'm, I'm going back to Remy because I need her flight ability. Uh, so we go back to the shop too. Hmm. Okay. And now we're gonna go to the other golden door. I'm still missing a few items, is the thing. So I guess I'll have to explore and get those, huh? There's also the Yukuri block, which I don't have access to. I don't remember there being any other Iron Gate either. I think it was just the one connected to Area 8. Um, it's... Okay, so it's all the way around, yeah. <laughs> Down and around. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I need a... Yeah, down and around. Um... I guess I'll need like a map or something on collectibles. So I'll grab everything before finishing the game. I also have to go back to area 9 and 10 to uh, do those areas as well. So far, I feel like I have everything in the game, don't I? Have I missed any treasure chests yet? Aside from what's behind these doors? Hmm. I just don't think I've missed too much. Like, looking at my map, level 1 is all found. Level 2 is almost all done. Level 3 has been completely scoured. Level 4 has been scoured. Level 5 has been... Oh, there's an area in level 5 I can go to. Do you see that? I'm gonna go check that out next. After I've done this door. I'll go back to level 5 and check that area that needs flight. Okay. I've been pretty thorough on secrets, I think. Ooh, give me that. Okay. Just 
fly around it. Look how fucking annoying this pathway is, though. Jesus. Okay. Hmm. Would I really want another game like this, though? I have to wonder. It is hell to get to this point. Like, early game in this game is fucking rough. Alright, ready? Who's it gonna be? Oh shit! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, icicle fall! Easy! Yeah. Consider your ass grassed. Shit. She's so strong. Aha! Ha 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 ha! Alright, Chirbo defeated. What are you doing there? <laughs> Alright, what can you do? That's it? That's it? What? Romeo is hyper boss killer. It's just special on enemies. No, 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 I have to fly around with Remy. I have to go to area five. Hmm. Hold on. So there you see that area? Where the fuck am I? I see myself. There's a uh, there's a spot there that I need flight to reach. So I'm gonna go do that first. Can't afford any of these. And that'll just leave the last few areas, I suppose. Uh, oh, it's actually really close. Okay. Just gonna fly up the tube. Okay, I don't really see a way through here without flight anyway. Unless I missed like a secret drop point or something. Oh, well, there's a chest. Oh no, okay. Well, maybe there was. I have no idea. Either way, I came back for this, so... It's just a fucking heart though. Okay, I got it though. Anything else? Level six? I've been everywhere in level 6. Level 7 I've been everywhere in, and level 8 I just finished off. So now I need to go back to level 9 and level 10. Um, I don't remember the way in to level the, either of those levels. What's the quickest way to level 10? Hmm. It got really crowded in here, huh? Nine is the left of level one shop. Hmm, pretend it's the right of level two shop. No, I didn't miss any areas in six and, and one. I got everything in area one here. The, uh, the area down there is blocked by a Euclidy block. I cannot get through it. Level six? Um, I just don't see anything. I have gone everywhere. I don't see anything in Area 6. Everything looks... Everything looks explored to me. Hmm. Okay, so both 9 and 10 are close to level 1 and 2 shop. Where's the spot I missed in here? I don't see anything. I'm pretty sure I got everything here. It looks complete. It's kind of hard to tell, though. 
Don't you need flight around the bottom? Uh. Oh, wait, you might be right. I don't remember if I cheesed that one. I don't remember if I cheesed that one or not, but I, I remember needing flight for one of these big rooms. It might have been... Was it this one? One of these one of these has a treasure I couldn't get with boosting. I cheesed that one. So it's the one at the very bottom, isn't it? Let's just go. I'll go check it out. It's not that far away anyway. Pop. Pop. I feel like the upgrades in the shop are at their last... Last ones I can buy. Hold on. What was over here again? Oh, that right. This is one of the connections to this level. I forgot. Yeah. No, I'm... Did I not get this with uh, Flandre's boost? Oh, wait. I, I see. I see. I, I remember now. I remember now. Yeah, there was, an, there was an opening I couldn't get into right above this room. I see it now. There was an area that had an opening that I couldn't get in. I forgot about that area. I see it now, though. I'll just go visit that real quick. I remember seeing a chest on one of those, like, these big rooms, but I couldn't remember if I cheesed it or not. Guess we uh, answered that question, huh? Uh, it's at the end of this room. So with this wall, down here, yeah, in there, in here, there it is. It's a slot. Okay, I think that's everything then. So that just leaves area nine, which should just be right over here, yeah. Yeah, this is the Rumia zone. Okay. Okay. Excellent, I got it. Ruma. <laughs> I like the way she bobs when she walks. Yeah! Yeah! Alright. I'm actually gonna stop though because it's just about two hours, but I don't want to start exploring Area 9. Because area 8, 9, and 10 don't have shops. I can tell that. Ugh. So I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to explore them. I can do those last two... I can do those last few areas uh, in one more stream, I think. I, I imagine area 9 and 10 aren't massive because there's no shop for them. Area 8 wasn't too big either. And I'll just pick Remy again and go with Flight Power. You know, the usual shit. But we're almost done this video game. Well, that's cool. I will stop here, though. I like that, uh... I like that I just ma I managed to create... I managed to create three new playable characters. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, am I gonna use them? Uh, I might just pick Ruma and then absolutely bedangle Remu. But for exploring purposes, I'm going to stick as Romilia for the last two areas. For convenience sake, because her flying is very handy. You know, that's how she be. That's all.